Welcome back everyone to our playthrough of the career mode here in NASCAR Heat 2. So we're fresh off of a really good race at Kentucky where we come home with a top 10 in 8th position. So a great race there, a lot of fun on the mile and a half. And now we're going to a track that is essentially a short track. It's uh, basically a bigger version of Martinsville. You have some very long straightaways followed by very heavy braking and some tight corners. So here, just like with anywhere else, you're gonna talk about the center of the corner. You're gonna talk about rotation through the center. You need to be able to get the car to rotate uh, through the center while at the same time maintaining a high rate of speed so that you can uh, put yourself in great position to pass cars down into the next corner. So a lot goes on here. Um, very tight racing. It should be pretty difficult for us to make our way from the back to the front in the short number of laps that we're going to have. So should be a lot of fun. Let's head to the track. All right, before we get this race started, let's take a quick look at the setup. And this is the standard stuff. It should match pretty much identically to what I ran in the Xfinity car at this track. And that's basically what I, uh, I didn't look to see really how we did in the race, but I looked to see what we used at the track and this should be basically it we've got a lot of front weight in the car that should help to uh, reduce our speed and making us break a little bit harder on corner entry to try to get this thing slowed down and then also uh, the combination of the front springs and the rear springs should also cause us to scrub off quite a bit of speed and then one of the big factors is the camber uh, not having a lot of camber will really hurt the ability of the car to turn so overall Everything should be fairly close. Uh, one thing that's probably different is the tire settings, and that's because I didn't touch these from the default setup when I got to the track. So we'll have to see how those work out. Let's get going. All right, green flag here in New Hampshire. So 39 lap race, and I'm gonna try to give these guys some room. Again, I have no idea how this car is gonna handle gonna have to figure that out there's our friend DJ Kennington right in front of us Ooh, really loose there under braking so we'll try to move up as much as we can within the number of laps that we have 39 laps is a long time on the surface of it but ouch somebody got into us from behind Trying to spin us out. I think it was our good buddy Kennington. So I'm going to have to find some braking markers that will work for me with this setup. Because right now, oh, almost got spun out there. So whoever's behind us is really having fun. Notice these guys are really slowing down a lot mid-corner. And I'm trying to use the brakes to keep off of them, but the car is very unstable under braking. I'm beginning to wonder if maybe our tire temperatures are too low. We'll give it a little time. Ooh, like right there. Trying to stay off the 21 car. And car almost spun out. It's like the car goes from no brakes applied straight to maximum brake even though I'm barely touching the brakes. Wow, look at that. He way off the gas. There's only so many times that happens, folks, before you just get into somebody. Especially when, look at that. Oh, all I have to do is touch the brakes for that to happen. Yeah, this is no fun to drive at all right now. This isn't loose. This is unstable which is a very different thing. Loose, you can work with. Tight, you can work with. Because you can adjust your driving style to that. May not be fun, depending on how bad it is, but you can adjust to loose or tight. Unstable is a whole different thing. So I'm trying to hug this bottom as much as possible. All right, so they say we're all clear. We're up to 29th somehow. All right, 
pretty good run off the corner there, but I needed the entire way, all the length of the, or the width of the track right there, and I did not have it. All right, 27 car, I know he's gonna slow down to a stop. Just don't know when. Because that seems to be the MO of the AI at this track. You can outrun them on corner, on corner entry, that's fine. But at some point mid-corner, they're going to basically come to a stop. It seems like right there on corner exit. And you're going to have to take evasive maneuvers to stay off of them. And it catches me off guard, seems like every time. no room to do anything right now even if we wanted to yeah, the car does not rotate well as it is so from that perspective the setup is working really making it hard on me on corner exit and through the center and the AI are not making it any easier trying to get through the corner and dodge them Very difficult under braking. Car does not want to go straight at all under braking, which is what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to brake in a straight line as much as possible. Because that should help with the instability under braking, but so far it is still very unstable. Oh, somebody got into me. Then, oh, there we go. Pinballs. Yeah, the AI are never bashful about taking real estate that they're interested in. Oh, there we go. We're out of control. Yeah, this race right here is no fun. Somehow we're still in 23rd. Oh, there we go again. Let's just drift it through the corner. Oh, look at the 17 on our outside. Wow. He was extremely loose. I know the feeling. I know the feeling. I don't trust any of these guys at this point. I'm trying to get down almost onto the just the apron just to get away from them. Oh, goodness. We got a great run off that corner. Easy, easy. Oh my goodness. Okay, McDowell, I'm going to need you not to stop right in the middle of the road on corner entry. Please. It was all I could do not to run him flat over on corner entry to turn three. Here we go again. Let's try this again. It's 
we're in 21st, roughly, well, not quite halfway through. I forgot, 39 laps, not 30. All right, good rotation there. And if these guys would ever get a decent run off the corner, then we would have been great right there. see if we can get our way through here. I'd really like to clear these guys. If I could. Oh, couldn't quite do it. He's going to pull right down in front of me. Thank you very much for that. Yeah, these guys are begging to get run over right now. Try the high side a little bit. Mm. Oh, oh. The 95 is not liking the fact that I am in front of him. He is trying hard to run me over. And I'm trying hard to get out of his way. on now. Boy, what I wouldn't give for some open track right now. Ooh, turn, turn, turn. proving to be quite difficult to get around. Right now, I'm trying to find out anything that this car wants to do. Very unstable under braking, which is not a good combination. When combined with the fact that we are really tight on the chassis setup. So the car just does not want to rotate all by itself. And add the instability on top of that, that is not a good combination. Alright, the outside doesn't seem to be working good. But I might be able to do the over under on him coming off the corner. We'll have to try that. Woo! Watch out. And you can see that's how slow they are through the center of the corner. Even with me being completely out of control there, going sideways, I was still faster than them through that part of the corner. Once I got it gathered up, I was still closer to them than I should have been. Alright, here we go. Let's see if we can make up some, some room here. So we're inside the top 20 now. Don't do it. Oh, he did it anyway. Could we possibly be clear of all that for good? I hesitate to even think about it. Couldn't quite keep the, the gas down that time. Otherwise, a pretty good corner. I was able to let it rotate through the center without using any extra brake because we didn't have anybody in front of us that I had to worry about hitting. But then on exit, it was just too tight to keep the throttle all the way down, but you can see we've immediately caught the guys in front of us and put some distance on the guys that we just passed. So the speed is there. Just can't get off the corner like I need to 
to really put together a good lap. Oh, Boyer. Boyer, Boyer, Boyer. Right down in front of me. This is almost like... This is almost like going through a driving course where the other drivers are going to do all the things that would easily have you run them over. And your job is to not run them over. And under normal driving conditions, it wouldn't be any problem. But the fact that this is a race really makes it difficult. Trying to clear Boyer here off the corner. See if I can get a good enough run. Would love to get a top 15 out of this. Considering how our car is handling, a top 15 would be basically a win. Ouch. Let's get down here on this. Ouch. Pop me again. And oddly enough, we've now pulled away from those guys that we passed. And thankfully, we are in the top 15 now. So we'll try to see how things go in the top 15. Maybe we'll get some better racing in the top 15 than we did in the back half of the field. Try to let the car flow through the center a little better. Okay, still not where we need it, but that wasn't too bad. And by the way, Matt Kenseth gave us plenty of room to pass him on the outside if we were faster, which we were. So now he's going to fight back, which is great. That's what you want in a race. But what you don't want is somebody that will give you no room and then <laughs> make things worse on you. Oh, could not get through the center there. All right, so now we've passed our way up to 13th. Nine more laps. Okay, not bad through that corner. That's probably about as good as I'm going to be able to do it with what we've got. So I'm trying to use as little brake as I can get by with because of the instability under braking. It's a lot easier to do when you're not running around any other cars. So I'm thoroughly enjoying this time that we have alone on the track. One of the things that you can do at this track to really help the car to turn is to remember to get all the way off the gas in the corner. Now, a lot of times I will use just a little bit of throttle to try to settle the car. It, sometimes that will enable me to use a little bit looser setup and get a little bit better rotation out of the car. And then you use the throttle as a way to sort of calm the car down a little bit if need be. But here what I'm fighting is rotation most of the time. So it's very helpful to remind myself to get, make sure I get all the way out of the gas pedal. All right, wow, dare we even dream of a top 10 out of this. The last time I dared for a top 10 was at Sonoma and it didn't go well. All right, let's see what we can do. Oh, okay, Bush, um, just, yeah, come right down the track if you need to. Sure, why not? All right, I don't quite have what I need to get under him. 
five more laps. Ooh, watch out. You can see we got a tremendous run off the corner though. And that was me basically using a lot less brake than I normally would. And just letting the car do whatever it wanted to in the center until it decided to turn on its own. up to 12th very few laps left but I do think we have uh oh look out uh, yeah a little bit out of control there under braking just a little Great run off that corner. Let's see if I can get down to his inside. Nope, he's going to block that. All right, let's see if we can. No, nope. could not keep in the gas off the corner. Man, that was our chance, too. Man, you could just see the car rotate there and it shows on the next straightaway oh again stability under braking we need it we are so close to a top 10 here all right so let's see what we got going into the corner oh come on car Trying to see if I can. Oh, a little tap from behind there. Oh, couldn't keep my foot in it. We still got it. Wow. Could not keep my foot in it off the corner, and I thought for sure that was going to cost us the top 10. But we end up with just that a top 10. And now I have to say, after the first few laps, I had no idea we'd be able to get anywhere near the top 10. I was thinking that 25th to 30th was going to be a stretch at one point. So we'll try to put this race behind us and that setup behind us. That was not fun. Yikes. My first my first guess would be take a look at the tire pressures. It could be that we were simply under inflated on the tires uh, but right now I have no idea on that but that would be the first thing I'd want to look at and then take a look at the the brake bias maybe go up a couple of percent who knows all sorts of things we can we can look at for our uh, issues under braking but overall I still have to say we came out great with that top 10 so we still have our five wins but now you notice in fourth Four wins for Jimmy Johnson. So now he is only one win behind us. That puts him only five playoff points out of first place in the playoff standing. So a very good uh, year so far for Jimmy Johnson. And of course, Kyle Busch right behind with three wins. Very nicely done. Somehow we ended up with the fastest lap. I'm not sure how in the world that can happen because at no point did that car feel good. But hey, if you're looking for a challenge, and that's exactly what we're looking for, that was definitely a challenge. That was, uh, it was a lot of fun in its own right, even though the car itself was not fun to drive. But now, that's going to bring us up to our next video, which is going to be at Indy. Now, Indy is always a blast to drive, such a historic track. Uh, we'll have to see what kind of setup we'll use there and see what we can do with it. But that'll be in our next episode. For now, thank you very much for joining me, and stay tuned for more. NASCAR Heat 2.